starting the morning off now headed to a nail appointment so I'm getting my nails done because uh, I have two baby showers one this weekend coming up and the one the following weekend so I'm going to get my nails done and this is good anyway in case the baby ends up coming in like the next two weeks and then if I make it like all the way to my due date and she's still not here I'll probably go again and get them touched up just so they're like done and I don't need to get them done for a while after she comes but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go really simple since it is my baby shower and in case she does come, I think I'm just gonna get Funny Bunny, which is like a tried and true color from OPI. It's like a whitish pink, but more like white, honestly. Um, so yeah, we'll give this a shot and if I don't like it and if I'm like, ooh, I definitely don't want my nails this color when I have a baby, but I don't think that'll happen, but just in case, I don't know, whatever. We're going to get the nails done, and on Friday, so in a couple days, Colin is taking my like maternity pictures. We're not doing anything like super crazy, just snapping a couple pictures, and I rented a Pure Space studio in Uptown Charlotte. So getting them done for that too. I might try and fit in a blowout Friday morning, so I don't know, we'll see. headed home so um I just went with like a neutral like whitish pink um I went to Starbucks I didn't get a pump of classic this time because I felt like the coffee was getting really sweet so I just got a cold brew with two pumps white mocha and a vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top so let's give this one a try yeah that's good just got home I'm dumb and I posted my nails on my Instagram story before I got home and then Colin saw him on my story so his reaction was like oh I've seen them they look fine or I mean he said that he likes them and I left them a little bit longer this time because I was getting shit on in one of my reels okay on Instagram for how short they were and I literally had to defend myself and say I got them so short because my nails grow so fast because I take prenatals and it was really bothering me so this time I left them longer and then I actually kind of like the way they look longer so if I have to get them done a little more often whatever um, and if I have to get them done again before the baby comes that's fine uh, I came home to my new Nespresso so she's beautiful and then I also came home to something for my hospital bag that I went and picked up in the parcel pending area and then these two onesies, which I have another package coming tomorrow with more onesies from Target. Okay, first of all, though, the ones that these right here, I'm gonna link them below. And I'm genuinely really, really shocked and surprised and I like them a lot. Um, they're from the brand Cloud Island and these are three to six months, but they just um, snap at the top and they're zipper um, footies. So, and they zip from the bottom and the top, so. Uh, here's a little pink one. I mainly got them for this one though. This one's really cute. This is the pattern and adorable, right? So I'm going to take the tags off of these, go fold them, put them away. I'm waiting until after this weekend. So I need to end up running to Target. I'm gonna return the Dreft 
baby detergent because there's just like mixed reviews and we use seventh generation sensitive skin i heard that you can use that on baby clothes and it's completely fine because it's like non-scented ingredients are fine so i'm gonna do a little bit more research or just like figure out what i need to do but i haven't washed any of her clothes yet which i know i need to do sponsor of the video felix gray you guys know and i've talked about felix gray before but i spend a heck of a lot of time on my computer whether it's editing a vlog or creating content on social media like instagram tiktok all the things i spend a lot of time looking at screens which is where my blue light glasses come in and save the day so felix gray sells blue light glasses that you can get your prescription lens put into them which is really cool if you wear glasses i wear contacts a lot so i just have normal blue light glasses so that's why felix gray set out to create I wear that overall helps you develop just a better relationship with technology helps improve daily screen time so I have multiple pairs but this pair right here is called the Kelvin I will have this exact style linked below for you guys in case you're interested it is so cute tortoise shell and also my head is like super large and round so these frames in my opinion fit my face shape amazingly but it's cool because when you're picking out your glasses online you can like virtually try them on which saves my life every time because i just really never know with glasses so that is what i did with all of my felix gray glasses and they are 10 out of 10. if you didn't know felix gray glasses filter 15 times more blue light that can make a screen time hard on eyes but also disruptive on sleep which is a huge thing i try really hard not to look at my screen at night before I go to bed and also wearing these improves my sleep by a ton also since I do wear contacts something that doesn't help my prescription on the daily is staring at a screen my prescription it just keeps getting worse and worse so my eye doctor even suggested that I wear blue light glasses while I am staring at a screen to hopefully slow down my ever-changing prescription so I can hopefully get LASIK surgery one day which is the goal Felix Gray has a ton of really lightweight classic and also fashionable frame styles they're made from acetate and then they're hand finished so they're very high quality as you can tell and they I never get headaches like sometimes when I would get glasses when I was younger from my eye doctor they would give me headaches because they were probably too tight but I have never had a headache with any of my blue light glasses from Felix Grey they just fit my face so well and they're so comfy to wear also try out Felix Grey if you're wanting to make a change in your everyday routine through staring at screens I know a lot of us are work from home now as well um, and just our everyday lives just staring at screens so much so if you want to give it a shot uh, Felix Gray does have a 30-day money-back guarantee so that is amazing and I will have everything you need to know in the description box below 10 out of 10 recommend and also I wanted to thank Felix Gray for working with me again on today's video and I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with the rest of the vlog good morning guys so I stopped vlogging yesterday because I was just finishing up the hospital bag and getting everything in there and then ordering the last couple things that I think that I need um and then I was just like really tired after that but doesn't it look like my stomach dropped or no hi thank you Colin just got a package for me maybe not I can't tell just changed um I'm gonna take a noon class today so I've just been getting some things done I'm about to do the dishes, vacuum, and all the things. But I'm just wearing this Lululemon top and set active leggings. I need to wash my dishes from yesterday and my mac and cheese. But my tops are starting to not meet my leggings. So, yeah, we are getting big over here. Like, seriously. But I really can't tell if my stomach's dropped. Maybe it hasn't. 
I don't know. It's all so confusing. So confusing. And then I have friends who are pregnant at the same time as me. And all of them are dilated so far. So I find out next week. And I can't wait to find out because... <clears throat> I don't know if I want to be dilated or not because we want her to come on her due date. So, would that be too early if I was 37 weeks and already dilated? I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to leave you guys here to charge. Let me show you what was in this little box. It's seriously a ton of baby clothes that Colin got. Do you want to go outside? I will, again, have all of these linked below. I'm just going to kind of like go through and show you. But they're all zipper footies except for one. And there's like zero to three and three to six. Um, one of them is button up, which I wasn't, obviously wasn't paying attention when I bought it, but it was on sale. So I'm pretty sure I got it because it was like a good price. But, um, yeah, we've got a ton. The ones that I showed you yesterday were definitely way softer than the ones that I, um, got this time in this box. So I don't know what the difference was. I'll have to go online and look because they actually were definitely a lot softer. But I just seriously got like a ton of colors. Well, this one's pretty soft, like coral yellow and this cute little print with like the pink um and then like a polka dot kind of like literally so many but i know i need a lot um here did you guys see that like this print and a lilac purple one so here's the one that okay those were all from the cloud brand and those are all the zipper ones and this one's button up from Car it says just one you by carters but this one was like really cute i thought colin would like this one with the little lions so we got this one and it's in three months but it looks really small so yeah anyways i'm gonna go put these up in her room probably just gonna leave the camera at home while i go take a noon class um orange theory valentine in valentine um charlotte area got a new head coach so my mom and i are taking his class at noon today good morning guys so as you know yesterday it was just really really busy with work at the computer all day nothing could help my situation so um i just had to get this stuff done so nothing vlog worthy we cleaned out my trash my car other than that um nothing happened so today's friday which is way more exciting my skin is skincare up we've done the skincare i'm up i'm about to leave it's almost 8 30 and um i'm going to try bar to get a blowout because i have my maternity pics colin helped me self tan last night i'm trying to find a self tanner um but yeah i just did like the two hour express from loving tan which now i'm forgetting where i put i found it it was out there okay so i just used the loving tan at two hour express to get a little bit more tan it didn't really do my face so i might look a little bit ridiculous but it's okay because you have to wear a mask so that's okay but i'm just gonna put on a little comfy outfit and then we're gonna go to dry bar and then i'm going to the one in south end there's two we have one in south park and then south end so i'm going to south end it's about like a 20 minute drive so i probably should head out here soon but starting off with a blowout and then i'll come back and i'll do my makeup and stuff and I already set out my outfits. I just need to pack them all up in like my base beginner bag or something. I could probably bring that. But yeah, it's gonna be like super low key and chill. Like Colin's just taking them. Um, we we're just trying to save money. I am at a stoplight, but this is the outfit that I decided to go with. It's just a little jumpsuit that Z Supply sent me. Um, and then I'm wearing Air Force Ones and a little mock free people. Um, turtleneck so yeah super simple i'm obviously gonna end up changing what i'm wearing um i'm putting on some little outfits that i have picked out comfy for my dry bar appointment and this the c supply just really hooked it up for me <laughs> honestly i'm very thankful for all these clothes they sent me you go now will you call me back yeah i know that yeah i know that you're the traveling show you guys in the car because it'll be easier but i'm like tempted to get a membership there <laughs> all right so here's the hair i got this straight up with 
flipped out ends so um yeah anyway she did a good job and she added like volume and stuff so it'll definitely fall by the time Colin and I take pictures later and if I want to I can touch it up but I kind of just wanted it to be like nice and voluminous and flippy and she delivered so we love that and um I'm deciding if I want to get breakfast out and coffee out or if I want to go home and make it, but I'm like pampering myself today, so I kind of want to get it out. Okay, so first stop I'm making on the way home is actually Trader Joe's because I need flowers for a picture, like idea inspo thing that I have. So I need to get like hydrangeas and a few baby's breath, and then I'll just put them in my apartment after anyway, so... I'm gonna probably keep touching my hair for a while because I'm just like that but yeah stopping to get flowers and then probably Starbucks at least and then even though we just fixed my coffee machine yesterday um but I just need something I need something you know so anyways I'm gonna run in and grab them just left Trader Joe's and I actually just met somebody who watches my videos and she saw me vlogging like in the action of the vlog so Mara First of all, she was beautiful. Um, it was really nice to meet you. I should have vlogged. I don't know why I did it. I was like, I don't know what I was thinking. I should have put her in the video. But I got my little flowers for the video. And then I also, oh, hold on, I'm listening to Michelle's podcast. Um, I also asked for a paper bag because like little hack, if you want to make it look like you went to a cute, flower like um what's it called farmer's market or whatever and you just cut the trader joe's bag and then uh use the inside of it where it's just brown and you can wrap it around the flowers and it makes it look like you went to um a farmer's market or whatever so um i can't find my phone all right got my coffee and sandwich i already took a bite because i was so hungry all right I just did my makeup, glammed up, so the place is like 30 minutes from here, so we're about to leave. We packed up our little bags, and Murphy do, we're going to be gone for like a couple hours, yeah. but we're about to head out, so I'll record while we're there, show you all my outfits. Okay, we just made it. Look at how cool. What are you thinking? I was just going to say that we do your stuff first, and then, and then our then stuff. Later. Okay. Well. Very cool, very cool. Look number one. Not these shoes.
all done. Total, total vibes. I know. Here is the space. Okay, we're in the car, back home to see Murphy Good Boy Henderson. We miss him. Well, I miss him. Dad misses him. We. He doesn't suffer from separation anxiety like I do. So every time I leave Murphy, I'm like yearning to see him again. And um, every time Colin leaves Murphy, he's like, oh, okay, we'll see him when we get back. And I'm like, ah, uh, like almost cry as we turn the key into the lock in the door because I hate leaving him. Anyway, that's a wrap on the pictures. I'm sure I'm probably about to head home and start editing the pictures. After we play Wordle, I won yesterday, so. Does anyone else play Wordle like against their significant other or like people they live with or whatever? Because Colin and I will start Wordle at the same time. We'll put in our word. Sometimes we use the same word. Sometimes it's a different word. And, um, but I, should I share my word? I always start with the same word first. I don't even know if that's cheating or not, but I always do. And it's the word smear, S-M-E-A-R, because I feel like there's I like- I came up with it. He did, he did. And then I've just used it ever since. He'll either use smear or like Cupid if you don't get anything from smear. I don't even need gas. Seeing what the price was. Okay. We always play Wordle against each other and we have like rules. So we'll start at the same time. Well, actually, Colin just changed the rules last week and it pissed me off because he didn't tell me he was changing the rules and he was like, oh, I won, but technically I would have won. Anyways, these are the rules. So, we start at the same time. What? Oh, you're looking at the direction. Uh, go through this. No, thing. because Bianca, Bianca claimed she got it on her sixth try. But and I, I got it on my third. But I finished And she finished first. like a minute before me. Okay, but the what, it, what used to be was if we finished first then you won no no first, no no that was not the rule let me talk if you finished first but the other person got it on less tries it was a tie if you finished first with less tries you won right away green light and if you that was it that's pretty much it that's all you need to know so what happened you, was Yes. I'm taking it right over here. Yes, get it right over. So what happened was I finished first with six tries and he finished way, way later. It was way more than a minute, by the it way. It was like a few minutes. There was no way it was more than a minute. On his third try. So I said, okay, we tied today. He goes, no, I won. What are you talking about? He's like, it, it took you six tries, but I finished first. That is exactly what happened. Don't even try and tell me it happened any differently. So then we changed the rules to, okay, Whoever does it in less tries wins. It doesn't matter if you got it first. If you got it in less tries than the other person, you win. So, yesterday I won. Right? Yeah. Yesterday's was hard too. They're really hard. Anyways, if you don't play Wordle, I recommend it. I think it's really fun. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, we take Wordle very seriously in this family. Getting some lunch because we're starving. Also, the drive through is so long, so we were playing Wordle. I got it on the fourth guess. He's still going. And he just completed his third guess. So, uh, do or die right now. Well, no, I guess I would have won no matter what. Hate that for you. All right, back home, switched into comfy clothes. We took Murphy to the dog park. And he played it so well. And then Colin and I just edited and sat there and edited the photos. And, um, you, your skill at things back here. It's kind of gross. Um, anyway, and your bagel plate. We sat and edited the photos. I made a TikTok about it and everything. And also, we got a package from Colin's parents' house today when he went to go grab something um, from his parents' house. We got a little gift from one of you guys. So, her name's Brooklyn. She wrote us the sweetest little card ever. And this is actually really helpful because she got us an outfit for 24 months, which... I don't know, I feel like Babe Girl is pretty big, so she might be wearing this way before then too. But we don't have like any bigger girl clothes. So not only is this adorable, first of all, it's like a little ruffle outfit. Um, it's always good to start your collection for down the road. Um, you know, so look at the back. Is that not adorable? I can already see her wearing this running around, maybe with like a little turtleneck underneath. 
and like little converse that would be adorable so brooklyn thank you so much you did not have to send us that and i'm so so thankful and i cannot wait for her to wear this one day i also cannot wait to finally be able to tell you guys her name because it's so like difficult having to hide it and keep it a secret <laughs> And I'm kind of over it. We've slipped up a couple times and I like literally had to make sure I edited it, edited it out of the blog. But yeah, I think that is only a few weeks away from being able to tell you guys. I just posted one of the pictures from the maternity shoot, but by now I probably, like by the time you guys see this, I probably would have posted a ton. So definitely go check them out on Instagram if you want to see them. But yeah. Overall, it was very successful. I'm very glad that Colin and I decided to do it, first of all. And I'm really glad that we just had Colin take them because he's so talented. And I will have that pure space that we rented in Charlotte linked below. Just took an orange theory class, started off the morning. And now I'm going to go clean my car. You should come get swimming. Oh, should I? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's here's here. Here. Just got home. The last two pods. There's two oh. left. breakfast bagel grind we need to wash the couch soon we're at the car wash y'all oh yeah guys this is a before of how disgusting the car is look at all that dog hair no shame i'm exposing myself after so much better so much more clean. We're installing the car seat. Where's the base? Okay, either way, here we go. All right, so I looked up a YouTube video because I just figured that would be so much easier than him looking at the directions. We honestly YouTube pretty much everything. But we'll see if it's easier. I have my car seat, or her car seat I guess, and stroller everything linked in the description box in case you guys are interested but it's the nuna pippa just the normal pippa series because with the pippa you don't have to have the base there you go right yep. nice and then the bar i know it said that this little bar had to be right there which it is looks good to me and then yeah, then you move the safety bar all the way to the ground. And I know you can like, yeah, push it back towards you more. What are you talking about? This way? Um, no, towards the seat more. Okay. Can they tell that it's green? I wonder. Can I even tell that it's green? Okay. Wow, wait, you did a really good job. That was so quick. Now you can do the seatbelt. Yep. Wait, I'm gonna do the seatbelt part. I wanted to install the seatbelt, so. Okay, so you this up and oh look at me I even seriously paid attention during the video because in case it's just me without him you know I gotta know what to do can't always rely on your dandy dandy husband you gotta be self-sufficient you know what I mean you know what I mean I did it right, right? Did I like do it, it right? Yeah. That was so easy. And it shouldn't move. Yeah, it's in there. And then, Sweet. well, I think I need to move my seat up more. Okay, and then it should just clip right in. Do I need to move this one more? Got it. And then 
then to take it out, I think you just lift up. Yeah. There it is. Are you checking out my work? Look at that. Can you believe it? Now we just need to put the mirror up and then we can see her. Just went to dinner. Oh.